Curriculum Review and Proposal Presentation by Tia Jones for Education 7330, Teaching and Learning in Post-Secondary Education for Professor Dr. Norman. Southern University at Shreveport is the college I chose to do my curriculum review for their elementary education grades one through five degree program. This degree will give you an Associate of Science in Teaching, also known as an AST. Traditionally, a person would need to complete a four-year bachelor degree in order to become a certified teacher. The AST program helps students on that route to receive their bachelor degree by allowing them the opportunity to receive a associate's degree in education. The associate's degree provides a easier and cheaper route for students who wish to become educators in the future. The AST program gives students their necessary freshman courses in several education classes while they're on their route to transfer to a four-year university or college. At Southern University, they have a transfer agreement between the Louisiana Community and Technical College System and the Louisiana State University System, Southern University System, and University of Louisiana System to assure that their students have an easy transfer from their program to a four-year bachelor's degree program within the field of education. If one decides to attend Southern University at Shreveport and apply for the AST degree, then this is how their freshman year will look like or their first year of college. The very first semester, they will, of course, be required to take no less than five courses, which would be freshman English one, math, general biology, music or arts. They have the choice to decide and intro to education. That second semester or that spring semester, they will be required to take freshman English two, pre-calculus algebra, American history one, general biology two, and American government. Of course, these freshman year courses for the first and second semester mirror what most of us took our freshman semester of college. The only difference is that this degree requires an intro to education class as well. For their second year, a sophomore year, one has to remember that these Southern University students will be headed towards their graduation year since this is a community college. In order to graduate, they will be required to take physical science, Western Civilization I, Finite Math, Principles of Macroeconomics, and American Literature the very first semester of their sophomore year are traditionally the fall. For the spring or second semester of their last year of college, they will be required to take College Success, Intro to Technology, General Physics II, Introduction to Probability and Statistics, world or african-american literature and also a general chemistry literature course now i that this is not a degree plan fit for someone pursuing an education degree because this is only general courses that everyone takes and there's not really a concentration on education for example on their freshman year, they took an intro to education, and this last year, they have an instructional technology, meaning within four semesters, they have only completed two education courses, which I don't believe is enough to claim that their degree is in education. Therefore, if I was to make any changes to the degree program, I would make sure I include more education courses. Degree changes I would make for Southern is that I would ensure students take more education courses. Currently, Southern only requires their students to take two education courses. That is not enough to ensure that students are receiving the full background information they need for associates in education. 
Also, I would add a class that focused on observation hours. I believe it's important to allow students to receive those clinical hand-on hours of being around students, being around educators in the field, and learning from other teachers. Meaning, I would require students to experience grades pre-K all the way to 12th. That way they get a full round experience of what it is to be a teacher. This will also impact them for when they're making a decision on when they get ready to transfer to a university or college. They will be for sure if they want to continue on the path for grades one through five, change to secondary, which is grades six through 12, or go to grades pre-K through kindergarten when pursuing their degree in education. In order to further explain why I think Southern should add more education courses, I compared it to my transcript from when I went to LSUS and received my bachelor's in education. Of course, I decided to look at my freshman year classes since I'm comparing it to Southern freshman year classes. Now, if one noticed, I had to take Sociology 107, which was a gender race class. class. I Take a communication 130, which taught you how to speak in front of a crowd, how to make sure people are listening to you, how to engage with others, and a psychology 206, which was an education psychology class to ensure how to connect with students. If you look at Southern's um, degree plan, which is to your left, you will notice that they don't have such courses embedded. I personally think they can get rid of the general biology too, since so students are already taking general biology one and insert one of these classes or get rid of their American history class or even a political science American government class and insert one of these classes. Yes, these are basic, you know, freshman courses. However, these are also freshman courses that students can take once they transfer or they can take at a different time, or it can be redundant, especially taking at Biology 1 and Biology 2. Since you will notice when we look at the sophomore year, they're also required to take another science class. I believe that all the extra science classes are not necessarily um, important towards their degree plan. So adding at least one education course within this freshman year, so that way students will have two, that introduction to education, in a psychology class or a communication class will help strengthen the accreditation of this associates in education. Now, look at the second year or your sophomore year at Sussler. You have a physical science class, a general physical science two class, and a general chemistry lecture. That's a lot of science courses when one wants to major in education. When I attended LSUS, if you notice, I had a physical science my sophomore year. My very first semester, if you notice, I had a biology and I took a chemistry course, meaning my entire bachelor's degree only required me to have three sciences, one chemistry, one physical science, and one biology. They are requiring their students to have way too many science courses to get a degree in education. I believe that, again, some of these science courses can easily be substituted for education courses or even a required first aid course for all teachers. Now, let me explain. You can easily take a psychology 208 or you have kids take a psychology class earlier. Well, okay, awesome. Let's add an intro special education course or another intro sociology course or even the first aid course. Anything to try to get students away from taking so many general courses that do not give them the background information that's actually needed to start their career as a teacher as this degree promise. I understand it's a community college, so a lot of the courses are gen ed, but you want students to know and be secure in their field of study, especially when they're about to transfer. If these are the classes I took, my sophomore year, that means by my junior year, I was pretty much done with all my content courses and was focusing more on learning how to teach, how to implement the, met the methods for the teaching, because I had completed all of these background education courses with Southern Promise to offer their students. Therefore, I believe they should eliminate some of these science courses and add more education courses into their degree program. 
How to implement change using interdisciplinary methods. The introduction to education can be partnered between and among an intro to psychology or sociology course. Future educators need to understand that their students are still developing within their classroom and outside of their classroom. Experiences that students face outside of the classroom impact their behavior in the way they learn within the classroom. Therefore, parting this intro to education course with a psychology course where you focus on children development, you're focused on children mind, you focus on how they interpret things, or a sociology course where you find out how a person gender, class, race, ethnicity, culture impacts the way that they learn, they understand, they interact with others, can further impact the way that you teach your classroom is very important. We're moving into a society where we have to remember our students are exposed to a lot more things due to social media, due to the internet. So we have to be able to make sure when we're teaching students, we are keeping them engaged and also thinking about what all they could have experienced at home or just anywhere outside of our classroom in general, they could be facing um, online bullying, they could be facing um, harassment, they can be going through something at home, they could be the primary caregiver for their youngest siblings. So they get into the classroom, they're simply tired. Learning all of this and understanding how all of this impacts how a student learn that impacts your teaching. So I think this partners really, really well with an intro to education course where you're learning about all the different philosophies of education and all the different techniques of education and just how to teach the background of education and partner with these psychology and sociology classes where you kind of have a greater understanding. One of my all-time favorite quotes is by Albert Einstein. It says that everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. A lot of people do not understand students are like the goldfish in this scenario, right? If I give a student a simple test where they have to sit and answer the questions, well, my student probably had a bad night or my student probably is not on a good reading level. So as soon as sit and take that test, it might not really prove to me or show me that they understand. But if I pull that student aside or I call on that student more in discussion, and I check for their level of understanding then, then that would show me, okay, this student, they their mind kind of shut off due to some, again, sociology or psychology reason, you know, something that they have experienced or that they go through outside of my classroom. But I know within my classroom, they are learning, they are understanding, they are improving, they are furthering their knowledge, right? So it also everything. Um, some students, they might not speak in class discussion or ask questions because they think it's disrespectful to talk when the teacher's talking. So they might feel better if sitting in front of that test than participate in class discussion, right? All children are different. Their backgrounds are different. Their psychology, their development, their um what they go through at home, their life experience before they enter our classroom is different. So as educators, understanding that and understanding the different teaching techniques of sarcastic method or as, um, you know, classroom engagement or partners or all the different stuff you learn in your intro to education courses partner very well with these psychology and sociology courses to help become better educators. And if we want our students to graduate with a associate's degree in education, we should at least make sure that they have that background knowledge of understanding children development before they transition 
to a bachelor's degree where your junior year, you are starting to do some of your student teaching. You're starting to be in the classroom more. You start to experience and be around children more, which is also why I believe Southern should also add the um, observation hours to their degree plan. That way, teachers or future teachers are in the classroom. They are seeing how experienced teachers are engaging with different students, engaging with their classrooms, making sure students are understanding with diverse needs, diverse backgrounds. And I just feel like those observation hours would really help connect what they learn in their intro to education in their psychology or sociology classes to real life experiences. To explain further, when I was at LSUS, I had to take a total of five sociology and psychology courses. LSUS made sure that I was prepared to go into a classroom understanding my student needs and understanding that I am not just teaching a person, but a human being who go through things, who still trying to learn life, who are still trying to figure out who they are information through different teaching techniques. Therefore, I think this course will partner very, very well with the intro to education courses. Sociology and psychology, the makeup of one's mind because of one's background and one's experience goes very well with trying to learn how to teach, especially when you are trying to, again, receive those observation hours and you go into a classroom of diverse background settings. You're around different children. You know why the teacher's probably taking five minute breaks between lessons. She might know that her kids, you know, their attention span is off because they are so used to being on their phone, a lot of screen time. All this stuff makes up the development of a child and impacts the way that they learn information. So these psychology and sociology classes will partner very well with an intro to education course. Another way to implement change using interdisciplinary methods is to simply have the instructional technology course be integrated with the special education course. Both of them serve each other very well. What do I mean? As a future educator, it's important to learn how to reach diverse learners. As mentioned in the previous slide, you have students with different backgrounds within your classroom. Therefore, it's important to be able to reach all diverse learners and make sure they all receive the same information and skills they need to be promoted to the next grade. Technology helps with that. I have a picture of Lexia to your right. That is a online reading material where you put in your resource or you look for one of their resources. And what it does is it changes it to fit the grade level or the reading level which your student is in. And you can share that same, you know, background information that you need your students to know, that same concept you need your students to know to different students on different reading levels. So for example, let's say if I want to teach us three branches of government, everyone would have a reading document about the three branches of government. However, everyone reading document would be on diverse reading levels to ensure that you are able to understand. And with Lexia, it really helps students because once they start improving on a certain reading level, it automatically moves them up to different ones. That is an online tool that help you reach students that can be partnered together. So those special education courses and the instructional technology courses really, really can hand to hand because they can help teachers reach those special needs students and just diverse learners in general within their classroom. Again, comparing Southern University in Shreveport and Louisiana State University in Shreveport degree plan for education, 
one would notice that when I was at LSUS, I took my intro to technology and intro to special education the exact same semester. Therefore, I think Southern should do the same thing or try to incorporate that special education course within this same sophomore year or second year time frame. That way students are able to make that connection, which will enhance their teaching in the future. For course education 205 is the goal or outcome is by the end of the course, students should be able to successfully incorporate online learning tools to enhance their lesson and teach diverse learners. The objective for this course is to expose students to diverse online tools, teach them how to use different online tools to be successful in a classroom, and allow them to create rigorous lesson using online tools. The performance is measured by lessons in a presentation using online tools, research about different online tools paper, and students must be able to teach an entire lesson using three or more online tools to keep students or their classmates engaged for the presentation as their final. For Education 210S, the goal or outcome is by the end of the course, students should be able to use diverse teaching methods and teach techniques to improve students' understanding. The objective of the course is to ensure students know how to create a positive classroom environment and teach students classroom management. Students are required to be able to perform research on different teaching methods and compose a paper, have students present a presentation about the history of teaching, a midterm cover methods which are taught in the class where students score 85% or above, if they do not, they will have to retake their midterm. And for the final, all students have to score 85 to receive credit, 85% to receive credit for the course. Southern University in Shreveport received its accreditation for commission on colleges of Southern Associates of Colleges and Schools. These are my references that I used to complete my presentation. I hope you enjoyed and thank you again. You all have a wonderful semester. Goodbye.